Hi, this is Linda Morris, and here we are, July 2021. And there's a really good blog that Nikan has put together on building your immune system. So I'm actually going to share my screen and talk about that because this is something that we should do all the time, not just uh, when we're in the middle of a pandemic. Um, so let me find the blog, five tips for balancing your immune system. Nikan actually does some really, really nice active wellness blogs and I don't always read them, but there's actually, I was looking this morning, like there's several really good blogs. And so anyway, let's just read about it. So immune health has been on the forefront of everyone's mind, especially in the past year. People have tried to come up with a variety of ways to boost their immune system, but is that really possible? It's actually a common misconception that the more active our immune system is, the healthier we will be. The fact is when it comes to our immune system, more is not necessarily better. While we don't want an underactive immune system, an overactive immune system can cause problems too. So what do we really want to achieve is balanced immune system. So here are five tips on how to get it. Keep those vitamin D levels up. Most people have low vitamin D levels and studies show our levels drop in the fall and winter months in the Northern hemisphere when we begin to spend less time in the sun. Think about all this that we've all been inside a lot for the last year and a half, especially up north because, well, it's often cold. This is bad news for our immune system. If our vitamin D le blood levels fall rapidly, as often happens when the weather gets colder and our time in the sun decreases, our innate immunity suffers. So to maintain optimal blood levels of vitamin D, we need to get daily moderate sun exposure and or a vitamin D supplement. So I actually pulled out some of Mikan's nutritionals because, um, well, first of all, I do have the immunity product here. And then our calcium complex. So our calcium complex does have 30 micrograms or 1200 IUs of vitamin D3. The Mega Daily 4 has, let's see, where is this one on here? 400 IUs. So between these two, that's what, 1600 IUs. Um, I mean, it's been well reported that we do need to supplement extra D3. In fact, one doctor I called on, he said, if everyone just had more vitamin D3, they wouldn't get COVID. So I personally take 50,000 I use once a week of D3. And um, it's not something I sell. It's not from Nikan. Oops, I have to go this way because I don't have my green screen up. But it's, this is by Orthomolecular. It's like $15 for 15 capsules. So one a week is all you need to do. Um, actually, I occasionally take two a week um, just because. Um, also to get D3 from the sun, you actually need to not have um, UV blocking sunglasses on for about 20 minutes a day. Remember they talked about our uh, full spectrum light is like, take your sunglasses off, not to look at the sun, but just to have um, your eyes exposed to sunlight at least 20 minutes a day, because that's where we absorb the most vitamin D. It's not through our skin, it's actually through our eyes because every, what is it, 15 minutes, 90% of our blood passes behind our eyes. So that's how we pick that up. So D3. So let me go back to where I was. Let's see, sleep like a baby. We, we know this at Nikan. So that's why we have the, the Kinko Fit sleep mattress topper, which is awesome. It's portable, it's foldable, and it has the magnetics and the uh, tourmaline in it to actually help give us the benefits of magnetics and the um, negative ions. And of course the comforter that balances our temperature so we're not hot, cold, achy, or stiff. So those are all really, really important too. So for years, science has linked a good night's sleep, six to eight consecutive hours to a healthier immune system. That's because during this regular time of rest, our immune system promotes a healthy inflammatory response. Stress hormones fall to the lowest levels at night, allowing our bodies to undo the physical stress exerted during the day. One of the best ways to improve the quality of sleep is to improve sleep hygiene. 
keep the right ambience in your bedroom by making it cool, dark, and quiet. You can even light some candles, take a bath, meditate, or just sweat, sweet, uh, sit quietly before you go to sleep, obviously, and have sweet dreams. Say sayonara to stress. Easier said than done, but it's so important because stress takes a significant toll on our immune system. Physical, mental, and emotional stress, especially when it's ongoing, can impair our immune system's ability to do its job. Mindfulness-based activities like meditation, deep breathing, and yoga are excellent tools for managing stress. Don't forget exercise. It not only keeps us healthy, but it strengthens our immune system. Just 30 minutes a day of moderate activity is all it takes. Feast on fermented foods. You may be thinking fermented foods. What the heck is that? Fermented foods consist of sauerkraut, kimchi, yogurt, kefir, and kombucha. Eating them is great for immune system because 80% of the immune system is found in our gastrointestinal tract. If these foods aren't appealing to you, you can get the same benefits by taking probiotic supplements. Ingesting probiotics, which are friendly bacteria and yeast, is an effective way to improve digestion and support immune health. So in our Ken's and Vital Balance, we have both probiotic, pro, probiotics and prebiotics, a huge number. So just taking our meal replacement once a day, or you can do it twice a day if you want, is a great benefit. Also taking the lactoferrin because that is a prebiotic also that's also helping to boost your immune system. And if you take prebiotics with probiotics, they flourish even more. It's all for good. In fact, I started taking kombucha. I'm going to share it with you in just a a minute here. Next, add mush mushrooms to your diet. Did you know there are a few species of mushrooms that contain some of the most powerful immune boosting compounds in nature? It's true. Mushrooms such as shiitake, cordyceps, reishi, mataki can re reduce negative stresses to on our bodies. Not a fan of mushrooms? Consider adding a mushroom supplement to your diet, such as Kenzin's Immunity. It contains a combination of 14 different mushrooms, including rare varieties not available in conventional mushroom products. Of course, when you're eating mushrooms, they always need to be cooked. You never, ever, ever eat them raw. Incorporating the active wellness tips described above to your lifestyle now will keep you, help you feel better and more balanced long-term. So this is on uh, Nikan's active blog. So um, actually I was talking to Igor about this yesterday. Igor started making kombucha recently. Uh, I know Barbara Bertuzzi has made it before. Um, this is actually a book I bought and downloaded on Kobo, the book of kombucha. Actually just really needed the recipe, which I now have. And uh, so this is a kombucha that I've made. It's actually a ginger. I actually bought locally. This is a great brand. Um, but this is actually ginger and chai. So you may not be able to see there's some, some of the chai um, oh, elements, clove floating in it. There's other, you can see there's all this good, healthy stuff floating in it. There's like a kombucha actually floating in it, a scoby. Um, and I love it. And it's, it's like drinking a glass of probiotics. So it's just, it's something you do at home. And uh, you, you make it, you have to have a SCOBY, you have to put sugar in because the SCOBY eats the sugar. And then uh, you let it sit on the counter for about 11, 11 days, two weeks, and then uh, you can flavor it. So my favorite actually is a kiwi, pineapple, um, lemon, and sage that I add to it. It's a pineapple. And then the, the chai ginger is my second favorite. So all it's all for boosting your immune system. And let's see, of course, the, the immunity mushrooms and, um, you know, making sure you have your D3 and your, your good quality sleep. And I always tell people on the sleep system, especially when they're new to it, turn down the temperature a couple degrees so you're cooler, so you can sleep under the comforter because you want all the benefits of sleeping under the comforter every night because that will actually really help your sleep. Anybody else have any tips for boosting your immune system that you'd like to share? Go ahead and unmute yourself. And if you don't, we won't. <laughs> okay, I don't see any hands. So there we go. Boost your immune system with me again. 